What's good, TTC? What's good, Niner fans? Y'all already know who this be, y'all, but motherfuckers have been screaming my name for this past fucking week. Everyone's most hated SoCal Ram fan checking into this bitch right now. <laughs> hey, so, are y'all motherfuckers really over here talking about, where's SoCal? Where you at, Rams fans? Where you at? Weren't these the motherfuckers after week one last yes, last year after they got that Monday night victory over the fucking Minnesota Vikings? Weren't these the motherfuckers that were out there? Rah, 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 like 49 cents says. You all rah, rah, rah. Weren't these the same motherfuckers that were rah, rah, rah at week one? And then they took four straight losses and were ghosts. We're ghosts. Mr. Frisco, you have fucking nerve to say, where the fuck have I been? Silly sad ass? Yeah, you fucking 5'8", 250 fat fuck over there trying to go to the gym finally? Where the fuck were you at last year, bro? Where the fuck has Mr. B-Town been last year? The only motherfuckers that were out here repping their squad after that week one loss during the four game fucking losing streak were Sense, A-Bomb, and Iraqi Vet. That's it. Maybe Niner Empire. That's it. So you guys have some fucking nerve to come out here and ask, where are y'all at? Where are y'all at? Let's talk. Let's talk. Okay. Let's talk. Um, I saw all of your videos, and frankly, all you motherfuckers are saying the same shit. Not one game has been played besides preseason, and you're going off of that? You're going off of preseason shit. The one team that's always like, oh, preseason? Why are you going off pre? That's just fucking preseason. You're going off of preseason. Not one game has been played and y'all motherfuckers are wolfing the same shit. You're watching Hard Knocks and you're twisting everything up. You're finding one thing that you don't agree with and you're twisting the bitch up. I'm, I'm about, it's fucking hot in here now. It's about 92 degrees out here in Southern Southern California. Um, yeah, you, you're all saying the same shit. Jared Goff. Jared Goff. What does the fuck? What the fuck does that got to do with you? What the fuck does that got to do with me? What the fuck does that got to do on how you're going to lose this game this weekend? Y'all motherfuckers are just talking just to talk. Not one single game has been played. There is nothing to go off of yet. And you motherfuckers are out here talking on some bullshit. Every single video is, where y'all at? Where y'all at? The scam fans, where y'all at? That's all I hear from you guys, man. The only motherfucker that brought some heat. And he always brings the heat. It's 49 cents. And like I said in the comment section, I told this motherfucking ass, I said, look, now that you put out your video, watch all your children come out and put out the videos. And just like fucking clockwork, that's exactly how it went. You guys all wait for Daddy Sense to put his fucking two cents in there and y'all go fucking go conjuring off that shit. Y'all listen to what he has to say and you say the same shit, but just in a different way. Y'all some phony, fake-ass fucking fans, yo. Definition of TV fans are y'all motherfuckers right there. Because besides A-Bomb, I don't know, not one of you motherfuckers. I've been to Cal I I've been to the Stick. I've been to Levi these last five fucking six years. I traveled. And not one time have y'all motherfuckers said, Hey, SoCal, let's meet up. Only one that has said that, and I have problems meeting up with him because of just of situations we, we were paying phone tag, was A-Bomb. That's it. You got motherfuckers in, what's that, Jersey repping the Rams? You got silly sad ass in Texas repping the fucking Niners and shit? I mean, not the Rams. You got fucking, what's that, fucking gambler? I don't know where the, Miami, Jersey, Brooklyn, whatever the fuck he claims to be or stay. This motherfucker's barely going back to Oakland or whatever the fuck. He's barely taking a flight back. Cut your video, bro. Taking a flight, tying up your shoes and shit. Fucking phony ass motherfucker. But all y'all motherfuckers have never ever seen your team, bro. Never. I've traveled. I've been to your fucking stadium more than you fucking been to your stadium. Where are your ticket stubs at, man? Where's your shit? And we want to talk about history. Okay, let's talk about history and shit. Let's get it. Let, let, let's let's touch on that shit. Yeah, you guys might, you know, according to Google, you know what I mean, might be the greatest NFL franchise to ever. Do it. Okay. Okay. Now, wouldn't that, just that alone, wouldn't that be enough of an initiative to keep Candlestick around? 49 cents, you'd mentioned about, you, you were talking about how our Legends game was canceled. Given the fact that the Legends game came right after the Dallas Cowboy 93,000 sales, whether you want to accept the fucking 
the, the, the record, whether or not you want to accept that the football from that game got sent to Canton and is in the fucking, uh, is, is in the history museum about the biggest and baddest fucking preseason sellout game, 90 something plus thousand at the Coliseum. Hey, let's talk about it. Five Super Bowls. I bet you not one of you motherfuckers are over the age of 32. If you're over the age of 32, this doesn't apply to you. Maybe A-Bomb is the only motherfucker. But besides the 1994 Super Bowl that y'all probably watched on your fucking grandfather's lap or your uncle's lap or if some of y'all have daddies, I don't know if y'all have daddies, sat on your daddy's lap and that's when you became a fan. That's when you became a fan, that 1994 Super Bowl. So why the fuck should I listen to what you got to say talking about Super Bowls that you weren't even alive to witness? That you had to pick up on, you call everyone else Google, but you had to Google the shit yourself probably growing up. Or you had to read about it in a fucking Sports Illustrated book. You were not there to see it. So how can you talk about it? And another thing. Since your fucking history is so fucking solidified and so fucking outright better than everyone. What happened a couple months after that fucking Legends of the Stick game? What happened? Tell me. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll hit my vape. I know what I'm, you know what I'm about to say. That shit got demolished. Where's Candlestick now? Where's your history now? It's nothing but a bunch of fucking pile of rocks, rubble, and dirt on the side of the fucking 5 Freeway. On the side of the 5 North. That's your history. If your history was so fucking great, why did the mayor and the elected officials of San Francisco send your ass packing 200 miles down the fucking road to a fucking parking lot with a mayor called Santa Clara. Why would they do that? Why would they not keep up Candlestick and make that your museum location instead of in front of Levi? Why would they not? If your history was so great, why is your fucking, your home gone? It's gone, bro. I'll tell you one thing. Coliseum is still there and it's been around just as long as Candlestick. Chavez Ravine is still there and it's been around just as long as Candlestick. Fuck, the Great Western Forum is still there and has been around just as long as Candlestick. You guys are fucking pathetic, foolish, and fucking phony. This is supposed to be a hate week, yo? This is supposed to be a hate week. Not one time in none of your videos that I, that I caught, I mean, because... Give or take, I saw QB Willie's little two minute video talking about, where are y'all at? Where are y'all at? Fucking tranny fucker and shit, you're over there talking about, where are y'all at? I, 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 I don't, I'm, I'm failing to comprehend why your history is, 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 is garbage, bro. Your history, no one remembers. San Francisco is now a baseball town. They do not give a fuck about the Niners. They do not give a fuck about the fans. They do not give a fuck about the team. That's why they sent your ass packing. They fucking sent your ass packing. They were tired of the gutter. They were tired of the fucked up fans going there and just fucking creating ruckus. Do you know what Candlestick was? Candlestick was a gathering place for you new age Niner fans to go over there and talk about and get drunk and talk about how good you used to have it. That's what Candlestick was. Nothing but a gathering place. That's all that was. That's all it was, bro. So, I'm going to give you the keys of victory. Okay? I don't... Uh, let's talk about your Niners team, though, real quick. You got Blaine Gabbert. Okay, yeah, he's 1-0 against the Rams. Okay. You guys won by a field goal. Okay. Is that something to be proud about? Maybe. You guys got the win? Yeah, you did. We didn't have, we didn't have Robert Quinn. We didn't have... We were injured. A lot of guys were injured there. But most of all, we didn't have Robert Quinn on that right side. Um, we got him now. Everyone's healthy. Um, was it Hyde, your, which is your only person on offense besides uh, Torrey Smith, that old fuck? Carlos Hyde is one hit away from fucking being put on the fucking pup list. He's on concussion watch right now. Blaine Gabbert has no type of resume in the NFL at all. Yeah, he has some wheels. Yeah, it's, 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 he's going to have to run for his life this weekend. He will have, or this Monday, he will have to run for his life. But you guys got no one. You guys got no McDonald? Well, your tight bands? Well, who is going to win this game for you? Who's going to win this game for you? It ain't happening. 
the Rams got the more better running back in Todd Gurley. We got the more reliable, solidified defense. And we got an offense that um, is just as bad as yours. Maybe just a tad bit better because we do got some we got, do got some receivers. We got Britt. We got Quick. We got Austin. We got um, the new kid fucking... Um, fuck. The fuck's his name? Nelson Spruce. Um, we got Tyler Higby. We got some... We, we got some hitters on there that are looking to prove themselves. What the fuck do y'all got? Y'all really ain't got shit, yo. And all this history that you guys keep talking about, it's, like I said, it's nothing but a bunch of pile of rocks and garbage and rubble, though. It, it's all it is. It's forgotten already. It's forgotten. Your history is fucking dirt. Your history is fucking trash. So there goes my keys to victory. So you guys can take this video, because you guys are all upset. That I didn't come out Monday night or Monday morning and put a video out for you fucks. I know what you want to do. You want to get my video and you want to you want to fucking twist it up. You want to edit. You want to cut and paste. Do what you gotta do, bro. Do what makes you do 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 what makes you feel like you're gonna win this game. Because I tell you one thing: your trash talking is not gonna win this game at all. Your team is not gonna win this game. And frankly, Chip Kelly. Chip Kelly don't give a fuck about your quarterback. Chip Kelly don't give a fuck about your team. He just wanted a job. That's plain and simple. And if Blaine Gabbert, it's not about if Chip Kelly can work with Blaine Gabbert. It's about if Blaine Gabbert can fit with Chip Kelly. That's that's real shit. That's if Blaine Gabbert can come out of that huddle and look at that sideline and see that white marshmallow on that play card and if he can figure that bullshit out and run the right play. That's what that is. You're telling me Blaine Gabbert's gonna fucking be able to do that shit? But if Kaepernick was playing, y'all motherfuckers be singing a whole different tune right now. And I'm not even gonna touch on Kaepernick. Because I'm not trying to open up a can of worm that's gonna fucking be labeled me as a racist and blah, 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 blah. You guys all know where I stand. And, and Vet, let me tell you one thing. I see you right there in your video. Um, looking like a deer in the headlights. Um, I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Let me, I got something better here. Let me, let me, let me go ahead and stuff this in my mouth because you always dipping, huh? Oh, uh, right here. Let's see. Uh, uh, I ain't gonna lie. Your defense, you got a good defense. Uh, hold on. Let me fix my dip. Uh, uh, I ain't gonna lie to you. You, can, you, you your, your front is, is, is good. And we're just gonna shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, fucking Iraqi vet. Let me tell you one thing, motherfucker. Is since you're a vet, when's the last time that Colin Kaepernick has thanked you for his right to sit? When's the last... Has has Kaepernick even thanked the, the veterans? Has he thanked them? That's a selfish-ass prick ass, but I guess I'm not gonna... Take that fucking jersey off, vet. Take that fucking... Go get yourself a Blaine Gabbert jersey, bro. Go get a Blaine Gabbert. Did you guys got so much faith in Blaine Gabbert? Let me see your Blaine Gabbert jersey. Go bust it out. But like I said, man, it, it, this, this ain't no hate week. Yeah, I got this fucking paper on now. I'm trying to pretend I dip and shit. Damn. Like I said, yo, this fucking week, this ain't no hate week, yo. This isn't a hate week. This is just you guys pumping each, pumping each other up. Trying to, I mean, it's onward and upward for my Rams team. You guys had the worst off seasons in sports history. You guys have. Two vet, I, I mean, just two guys that on defense that have been with the team for a while. Other than that, you got Lynch, Buckner, Armstead. I mean, you, you guys on defense, I ain't gonna lie. Your defense looks like it could do something. Your offense, questionable as fuck. So I guess it's gonna be one of those games. It's gonna be one of those games where it's low scoring, win by a field goal type shit. I'm not gonna say we're gonna go out there and whoop your ass and, and you know, and blow you guys out. I'm not saying that. I, I am saying that we're going to fucking torment your fucking quarterback. And I am saying that he's going to get the shit beat out of him. And I am saying that we're going to win this fucking game. But what you guys are saying is the same shit that everyone else has been saying. Where's Jared Goff? Where's Jared Goff? As a fan, yeah, I'm concerned about that shit. I am. Is he hurt? Why isn't he dressing up? Could there be a time that maybe we might, we might be shutting you guys out 49-0? He can go in there and get some reps. It's not our decision. It's not part of our fucking pay grade. We don't get paid to make those decisions. We get paid 
to talk about. We don't get paid at all. We get we 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 talk about it. All we do is analyze and interpret the shit. And you guys are looking at this shit like like if it's gonna affect us, bro. Like if it's gonna affect our performance, dude. Case Keenum is gonna go out there and he's gonna do his thing. Blaine Gabbard is he, he has no resume, bro. And you're talking about Colin Kaepernick doing more than in one year. What the fuck? You went to the show and lost. A blackout happened. You guys had every opportunity to gather up and re game plan and still lost it. So to me, that's some fucking irrelevant ass shit. Kaepernick went there once and he's been in the rut ever since then. And he's gonna continue to fucking sit. Unless we fucked the shit out of Blaine Gabbard. You think what they did to Cam was bad? <laughs> hey, Cam is a big dude. Blaine Gabbard's a little motherfucker. He a little motherfucker. He gonna get fucking worked. And as far as silly sad ass goes, you're 5'8", 260 motherfucker and shit. How you repping fucking 49ers in Texas, bro? Come on. You're the definition of a TV fan, yo. I don't know where you grew up. I don't fucking care. But all I know is that you said you were in Texas. <laughs> you were in Texas and you repping Niners. That means that you must... That means that you must have direct TV. Whatever cable provider you ain't getting this. You, you, you can't watch it for free. You know what I mean? So, you a TV fan because all your money is going to your subscription to NFL Network or your subscription to direct TV. Whatever the fuck you have. I mean, yo, want, you, you were wondering where we were at. We, this isn't a hate week. Low key, I wasn't even going to make a video. I was going to wait till we won on Monday. Victory lap. And that's how it was gonna go. I mean, your history, like I said, your history is garbage. Nothing but pile of dirt and rocks. Forgotten. And your team is a bunch of bullshit. No one's taking the Niners seriously. No one's taking you guys to do anything this year. You're not gonna do anything this year. You know it, I know it. ESPN knows it. The whole entire TTC knows it. But this squad right here, we got all the eyes on us. We got everyone watching, including you motherfuckers. You guys are tuning in every fucking week on Hard Knocks just to see what we're doing. But like I said, how the fuck do you guys have the audacity? How, you guys should have fucking nerve to come out here and talk about how we're flakes when half of your fucking video makers were ghosts the, the whole season. Mr. Frisco is the main fucking one. And this motherfucker, I've been, I've been commenting on fucking uh, on videos you have yet to fucking answer me back, bro. You answer someone else back. I asked you, how about them Giants? How about them? You going to lose your wild card spot? Because we done passed your ass up. And you're over here with your fucking ugly ass San Francisco background and shit. Like, they kicked your ass to the curb, yo. They're not in Frisco. Like I said, your history and everything else is garbage. Never to be remembered again. If you want to fucking learn your history, you gotta pay a you gotta pay a fee to get into the fucking museum over there, the mausoleum, because that's where all the dead people go. It's in dead history. It is what it is, bro. Like I said, it's Rams life. It's Rams for life. It's horns the fuck up. Y'all motherfuckers just talking just to talk. <laughs> I mean, you're hyping yourself. And as far as Mr. P Town goes, oh man, uh, Mickey Mouse Club. How the fuck you gonna come out here with a Mickey Mouse towel, dog? It's not even a fucking blanket. It's a fucking towel. A towel that you probably got from your brother or some shit. Because I know you, mother... I know. You know I know. And like I said, I, I got you. I got you, Mr. P-Town. I got a flick of you, bro, in that Raider jersey. You ain't for real, dog. You ain't not for real, bro. Remember that shit in high school? I remember. I got that flick of you. So, when I bring it out, is when I bring it out. But I got it. I got you, bro. You ain't no real fan, dog. You ain't no real fan. But anyway, man, I, I mean, this is it. This is all I'm going to give you. You guys can chop, cut, screw. Oh, you're not going to hear from me no more. Come Monday, I'll make my victory lap because we're going to win this game. We're going to win this game. And I'm already going on 20 minutes. So I think I've covered what I wanted to cover. Your history is bullshit. You guys got nothing to fucking speak on. No games have been played. So you're just rambling just to ramble. And you're fucking talking about where the Lamb fans at, where the Scam fans at. We're right here, bro. We're right here. We've been here. I've been here for the last fucking four or five seasons I've been here. Victory lapping and crowing. Mostly crowing, but I've been here. You guys take one fucking, one game 
against the Vikings, and you guys take four straight losses, and you guys hit the dirt. You guys have nowhere to be found. Billy Badass was a fucking ghost all season last year. Mr. Frisco was ghost all season last year. Where the fuck are y'all at? Where the fuck is Horoski? And then as far as Mr. No Eyebrows, old boy from Waterboy, <laughs> fucking Niner Empire, likes to call people or chata and shit. <laughs> Motherfucker, you... Yeah, man, you a puppy, bro. Like I said, all you motherfuckers are 49 cents little children. You know what I mean? Like, it, 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 it happens every year. He's the only respectable video maker on here besides him and A-Bomb. That's it. That's it. Hate me if you want, but those two motherfuckers are the only respectable video makers from your fucking crew. Everyone else just goes off of what 49 Cent says and fucking is being around the bush with it. That's all that is, yo. That's all that is. So I'm done with you guys. It's a fucking Friday. I'm off early. It's payday. I want to go spend some money. I need to go get my shit fixed right here so I look good come Monday and shit. But you know what? 21 minutes is a good enough fucking video for y'all. And if not, fuck you. But like I said before, it's horns up for life. You already know what's coming to the table. You already know what your demise is. You already know what's going to fucking happen. You guys have nothing to speak on. Like I said before, no games have been played. You can't go off of nothing. Not yet, at least. So until Kaepernick plays, shut the fuck up and enjoy that fucking basement. I don't give a fuck how many times you've been there. You're there now, and you hate it. <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers hate it. Because you're not in the spotlight no more, bro. Y'all motherfuckers don't have it. At all. You don't have it. But anyway, this is SoCal Rams fan. I'm checking out this bitch. 1-0.